this is Heather with Ketam Restaurant Supply, and today we are going to be making some Chinese tea eggs. Now this week I was originally going to be making a uh, yummy homemade recipe for some macaroni and cheese with a twist for Thanksgiving, but then my oven died. to celebrate uh, our new friendship uh, my fiance and I have actually um, found ourselves in. Um, we have become friends with um, uh, the owners of uh, a Chinese restaurant around here and they've just moved to Morristown not too long ago. Um, and, uh, they're always giving us some awesome, awesome uh, food and I've decided to um, maybe try making a little treat for them. Um, so, uh, Chinese tea eggs. They're found everywhere. Um, it's like a, a street food. And I'm really excited to try them out uh, and give them as gifts. So, uh, this should be really cool. And you can see I've started already over here. And I've just taken six eggs and I've put them in some cold water and I'm bringing them to a boil as we speak. Uh, taking a little bit, but it'll get there. Um, these eggs need to have at least an inch of water um, over them. So, just so you know, um, bring these to a boil. And once I get them boiling, I'm going to uh, reduce the heat and simmer them for two minutes. Okay, I brought it to a boil and I let them uh, simmer after I lowered the heat for um, two minutes. And I'm just taking them out of the water now. And you'll see, I have them just over here in a little bowl. I'm going to try and do this one handed. But what we're going to do now is um, <clears throat> we're going to crack them a little bit, each one. Um, you just do it in a few different places. Um, you can use like a regular knife or a butter knife or, I mean, anything you have on handy that is a knife, um, looks like a knife. <laughs> and we're just going to crack them in a few places. See how this looks right here? Got him all nice and cracked. And what we're going to do... Once we have them all nice and cracked, is we're going to put them back into our water. All right. All right. I have all of our eggs back in there, and you'll see they are nice and cracked. Okay. This is going to create the um, <clears throat> nice marbled look you'll find on um, tea eggs. Um, <clears throat> I am now going to add few spices. Um, one of these is going to be a, you know, small cinnamon stick. Let's add that to the simmering water. Um, I'm also going to add, you see this blend of spices here, two and a half tablespoons of Chinese five spice um, <clears throat> powder. It's got a lot of uh, anise and stuff like that. Um, I've got a teaspoon of cracked uh, peppercorn, a teaspoon of salt, oh yeah, I'm going to add those in there, nice, right? I'm going to add three tablespoons of soy sauce. we go. And you may be asking why in the world are these called tea eggs? Because they have black tea in them. <laughs> you can take one bag of black tea and just add it to this. Now we're going to stir this mix. Real nice and good here. 
Be careful with those eggs, you guys. <laughs> mm, smells good. Now, I'm just going to add a cover back to this and continue to let it simmer for at least two hours. Well, uh, we're done with our tea eggs and I've kind of already started chomping in there. <laughs> I'm bad. I really want to try just one out before I gave them all, the rest of them away. Um, well, uh, you can really taste the ingredients in there. Um, it's, it's nice and mild, not too overpowering. But um, I'd say the longer you leave them in, the stronger they're going to be, of course. Um, I left mine in for just the two hours, but you can feel you know, free to leave them in like an hour longer or so. Um, well, thanks uh, for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Um, I'm enjoying it right now. Um, have a great weekend. You once, twice. Three times a lady And I love you Yes I do Yes you once You twice Three times a lady And I love